Hello everyone, Meanspeed here with another Renegade Line video, which once again wasn't planned since this update is completely new and we got this news today actually. So this is once again another screenshot, but um, instead of focusing on the graphics and the HUD changes like last time, this time I'm going to focus on the scoreboard since that's what the screenshot is mainly about and what it's mainly showing off. So first of all, there is only one change that I could see from the previous screenshot of the HUD and just the updated graphics. And that's um, basically that I can see that there's, um, well, the only one that isn't scoreboard related as well, which is the fact that the XP bar um, in the top left now has the information or the stats showing you know, showing you how much XP you need in numbers to reach the next level, which is pretty helpful, to be honest, and definitely more accurate than just having a green bar, in my opinion, because it's a, a lot harder to tell based on that. Um, so I just think it's a bit, just easier and more convenient to have it with the numbers. Now, on to all of the new things, so the scoreboard stuff. First of all, we can see a chat feature. So, never mind that, not just... Not the scoreboard stuff yet. Um, that'll be the last one, I'm sure. Um, we can see the chat, obviously, um, with the developers saying some pretty uh, interesting things. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping they're just parodying the community from BFH. I'm sure they don't really feel that way. Anyway, I get the feeling that since there's a box around the chat, um, it will only pop up when you prompt it to. So maybe you press a command like T or enter or something like that and I'm thinking you'll have to keep opening it to see current messages uh, you know but I'm not sure it doesn't take up that much space on the screen anyway so I'm fine with it and it's also nice that it's transparent so it doesn't block any of the terrain or you know anything else while it's open because that could be quite problematic if it did uh, you wouldn't be able to see maybe someone running up to you trying to kill you or anything else so yeah now, I'm thinking the blue text is what you're personally writing, just so it stands out from everyone else's and it's easier to read. Uh, one thing we can see is that the developers talking in the chat aren't all on the same team, yet there, you know, there aren't any colours to differentiate the teams, so you know whether an enemy is talking to you or an ally. So I'm guessing that will be changed in the future too, because it's very convenient, and I think that would be very good if that was changed. Um, so before I move on to the main attraction, actually, I'm going to say, um, well, it's obviously the screenshot that's the main attraction, but I also want to point out that the RPG just has a testing name. It still has a testing name. In the gameplay footage, it had, uh, it was called Rocket Launcher, I believe. Um, it's different now, but it's obviously still a test name. And it also has a lot less ammo than it did in the gameplay video, which I'm guessing is for balancing reasons as the you know the RPG is more than likely going to be a very powerful weapon and the 20 ammo that it had in the gameplay video did seem a bit too much so it's good that Raw Vengeance are thinking about balance. So onto the scoreboard finally we can see a lot of information and hopefully I can cover it all in the video or at least in the comments if I miss something out I can just go back and write something I don't know. We can see there are eight slots for each team, so now we can assume Renegade Line will be an 8v8 game. Now, I'm not sure if that was already known or mentioned before, but if it wasn't, then I guess we know, or the game might have more players at a later date, or depending on the server, the map, the game mode, all that sort of stuff. Now, originally, for some reason, I assumed the green player bars were just to highlight the players left alive in the round but then that would mean the game mode would be at you know last man standing or something unless there's a small time when you're dead uh, the color on the scoreboard changes to make that clear to everyone else but looking back at it this is of course the friend system I mean there's no doubt in my mind about that and it's an easy enough way to see who's on your friends list in the game uh, the blue is once again surely going to be for you and only you, unless it means something else, like a colour to indicate who the admin in the game is and who owns the server. Because in BFH, the admin chat was gold instead of the usual colours, and that was also helpful to see who the admin was. 
and obviously what the admin was trying to tell you. We can see the letters K, A and D, which are clearly kills, assists and deaths, as well as score. And all of these were to be expected, to be honest. Um, there are some small icons next to the player names, which could potentially be hinting at what class each person in the game is using. Now, if we assume I'm right for a moment and look back at the screenshot, there are only two icons out of the four for the amount of classes the game will have. So I'm going to use that logic and take a wild guess that two of the four classes are at least in some playable state. Although the icon could just be related to abilities, or it could just be an icon you can have by your name, like games these days do on Steam, for example. Um, I have a reason to counteract the class icon idea um, to make it seem false, though, which basically is that if Ander is indeed the current player in the image, based on my other theory about the blue bar, then it wouldn't make sense for him to have a medic or healer icon when he's clearly playing as the tank, which we can see based on his weapon loadout. Although, if the blue does in fact indicate the server admin and not you specifically, as in the person who took the screenshot, then it could mean that someone else is in fact playing as the tank and actually does have the right icon, which I'm assuming is going to be the shield. So yeah. Um, we can also see two extra icons which are only shown for one developer, so I'm assuming they only show up when you hover over a name or if you click on one. The icons are most likely for adding a friend and for a potential private message or private chat feature of some sort. I'm thinking there will be around 15 or 20 characters maximum and you know as a limit for a character name in game because surely the names we have on the forum are just our account names or just forum names because the bar looks like it can only hold so much before it interferes with the other stats and it just looks a bit too cluttered that way um so just like the chat we can see the scoreboard is transparent so once again you know excuse me it doesn't block the screen you know, that would be bad. It would heavily block the screen that would because that's quite big, which is, you know, a good idea. Again, we can see small icons for the server name and your current ping, both of which are useful in case you want to remember a great server you're playing on. Um, assuming, of course, there won't be a system to favorite or bookmark servers. Or if you just want to see how good your ping is without having to leave the game, look at another source or enter a command which might get you killed in the process of typing it anyway. Um, I'm not sure if Raw Vengeance already have a decent amount of servers set up so far, or if that's just a sample name for the server. 11 servers already would be a pretty awesome amount though, because it would allow for 176 players to be playing during the Early Access or the Alpha, which is quite a lot. We can see some ability icons as well, and I think they're showing uh, the cooldown time for the abilities. I think the colours around the icons are just to represent what the main colour of the ability is, but there could be more to it than that, who knows. And finally we have three slots which are confirming that missions will indeed be implemented and we will be limited to three of them at a time, uh, which I think is fine. Like I said, with the server name, this mission name could just be for an example, or it could mean that there are already seven or more missions put in place. Um, the one that we can see in the picture is pretty, you know, it's a pretty generic one where you have to get a few kills uh, without dying, but it's not just a few, it actually looks to be really difficult and challenging. So I think, or I'd hope, there would be a nice reward of XP or something else like in-game currency or an item, uh, probably not an item, but yeah, for completing such a hard mission. Um, if that's indeed what the mission is for and you know once again if it's not just an example of what one could be Also the bars underneath the mission slots seem to be progression bars much like with the green XP bar So I think they could also have numbers on them So you know the current mission we can see might read 33 out of 40 for example just to make it a bit more easy to track Anyway, I think that's it guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I personally you know, I personally hope I covered everything, um, but as always, if you think I missed something, feel free to comment and tell me, or just feel free to give your thoughts on this image and everything else I mentioned. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.